Okay, nuns, we're beginning chapter three this morning, powers and exponents. Let's have a quick look at the chapter itself. There are four sections to worry about. Section one, using exponents to describe numbers. Section two, exponent laws. Then we'll have a quiz on the first two sections. Then order of operations using exponents. And then finally using exponents to solve problems. Not sure that we'll have time for the in-class assignment, but we'll see how it goes. And then of course you'll have your exam after some review. So let's get started on 3.1. Um, so there's a few key things that you need to be able to remember throughout this chapter. So this is a quick review for each section. So in 3.1, using exponents to describe numbers, you're going to need to make sure that you know the different parts of a power. This is sort of definition type stuff. You'll need to know what a base is, what an exponent is. And then uh, we'll go over those other items for the other sections in the chapter. Uh, We've also included a bit of a study guide so you can summarize all your definitions in one place. So for 3.1 we've got this chart. Um, we'll have the, defi the word. You can create a definition for it as well. You can highlight some keywords, provide some examples, indicate anything that you need to work on. Or if you want to make any notes on those concepts, you can do that as well. Um, and then there's a literacy link definition here that you can rewrite as we go through. So, let's get started, 3.1. Okay, so we are starting with some definitions. And we're starting with the word power. A power is an expression made up of a base and an exponent. Well, we don't know what those are yet, so let's have a look. A base is the number you multiply by itself in a power. So we've got a little diagram here showing you the different pieces. The entire thing is the power. The base, in this case, is the 4. And so the exponent then is the 2. And an exponent is the number of times you multiply the base in a power. So what this means is that you're going to multiply 4 by itself 2 times. That's what this means. Uh, now, there's something also called exponential form. And what that is, is the shorter way of writing repeated multiplication using a base and an exponent. So, for example, 5 times 5 times 5, you can rewrite that as 5 to the power of 3. So there are three factors of 5. You're multiplying 5 by itself a total of 3 times. So that's what this is. So, example A, write 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 in exponential form. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 factors of 2 indicated in this expression, which means we can rewrite it as 2 to the power of 5. The base of the power is 2, that's the number we're multiplying by itself. And the exponent of the power is 5. That's how many times we're having to do the multiplication. Part B, evaluate the power, 2 to the five, fifth power. So you can do that just by multiplication. And it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And your answer in this case is 32. So, you can solve that, and you know that 2 to the 5th power is actually 32. So it's fairly straightforward once you understand what the different parts mean. Uh, and now you've got an opportunity to do a little bit of practice with the show you know. Please go ahead and get started. <laughs> 